Hi and good day. Our lymphatic system is a very complex, extensive system made up of vessels and nodes that allows our system to detoxify. It allows the interstitial fluids to become balanced within the cells. This is what allows our immune system to stay strong and healthy. When our lymphatic system is not working at its maximum potential, this is where sickness starts to come in. Lymphedema, swelling, as well as many other symptoms that affect our overall health. Now, unlike the circulatory system, which uses the heart to pump blood throughout the entire body so oxygen can be given to the cells, the lymph vessels rely upon hundreds of tiny muscular units, which are called lymphangians. This is what's contracting throughout the body to propel the lymph. These contractions enable lymph vessels to transport numerous substances, anywhere from proteins, toxins, hormones, fatty acids, or even immune cells to the lymph nodes. Within your body, there are lymph nodes everywhere. Not only where you can't feel, particularly around your heart, around your organs and glands, but those that you can feel that you'll probably remember you might have had swelling in your groin or underneath your armpit. But the purpose of those lymph nodes is to increase the immune system, the white blood cells, to make antibodies to fight off and get rid of bacteria, viruses, or other types of infections. So when the interstitial lymph flow is slowed down, your body becomes more toxic. The immune system becomes weaker. The body starts to become weakened. Symptoms do not always occur in the early phases. You may be pain free, but you may notice these symptoms that I'm about to mention that you may be having. And hopefully by taking action early, you can turn them around to get back to good health. Edema, toxicity to the body, problems with healing from burns or scars, sinusitis, acne, eczema, and even many, many allergies, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, premature aging, chronic pain, insomnia, depression, stress, loss of vitality, loss of memory. And one of the most common things is adipose and cellulite tissue that stays stagnant, particularly in those parts of the body, in the buttocks, in the abdominal area, in the legs, as well as the arms. You're probably asking yourself, what can I do? I have one, two, three of those problems. My doctor never told me it possibly can be coming from a poor lymphatic system. He's been giving me medication. He wants to do a invasive procedure. But I'm telling you, you always need to give your body a chance to repair something on the conservative route before you do any invasive route. I always tell people, it's always better to use a fly swatter instead of a sledgehammer. These are some musts that you need to do. Make sure that you're sleeping properly. Make sure you're getting the right nutrition, eating healthy, the nutrients, the greens, the fruits, the vegetables, the grains, proper stress, handling it the right way, making sure you're getting the right exercise. Exercise movement helps the lymphatic system, not only helps the circulatory system, but helps all systems of the body function at its maximum potential, as well as helping to keep the immune system strong. There are other great alternatives, particularly in the medical field that can help you. But most important, become aware. Just becoming aware early can help you get well earlier and hopefully continue to have a happy and healthy life. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.